now uh, Bunnoween. That's yeah. Halloween, but everyone is dressed as you. Everyone's in a top hat and a yeah. beard. And, or or dressed as Bob. Or <laughs> just all bald if they want to go for that look that you had for that like one week that scared the shit out of me. Yeah. Let's talk about Legos. Legos. We're, talk- we're talking about Legos. Lego has been riding high this um, century. Yes, uh, they in, have. In the beginning of the century, 2002, 2003, 2004, the Lego company uh, was hurting. They were reporting losses, record losses. They were firing massive amounts of people. And it looked like the Lego corporation might actually go out of business. They were in severe financial straits. They were in dire straits. They yeah. were in such dire straits that they... That uh, they were uh, that they were singing about uh, the walk of life. Yes, they were singing about uh, installing microwave ovens. <laughs> that's how that's how in dire straits they were. Mm-hmm. And then, in the middle of their massive financial trouble, uh, this this other uh, company comes along and says, uh, uh, "Hello, how are you doing?" Uh, we're the we're Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, hey, Lego people. Uh, how you doing? We're Star Wars, and uh, look, we have an idea. I know you guys are having financial problems, but but um, what if you guys made Legos of Star Wars stuff? And and the Lego people said, "What? Yeah. We've." made lego sets of popular characters before it's never been done no one has ever done it you know what it, 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 okay we'll try it a couple of times i mean we're going out of business anyway so you know whatever uh for a little bit we'll make a few lego star wars sets yeah um and then the lego star wars sets were huge and then Lego said, huh, people are really buying these Lego Star Wars sets. Um, guys, crazy idea. What if we made Lego sets of other popular things? Mm-hmm. And that is literally what saved Lego. Yeah, They were nearing bankruptcy. People weren't buying Lego sets anymore. They just had their just Lego castle, Lego different castle, yeah, Lego street. Ooh, and it was the Star Wars, the Lego Star Wars that did it. And then Lego parlaying that into doing other popular sets. That's what saved the Lego Corporation. Um, yeah. Now, now over a decade later, Lego is basically a toy god. It's basically the McDonald's of toy companies right now. Yeah. They're they're everywhere. There are Lego stores, Lego video games, Lego theme parks, Lego science discovery centers, Lego clothes for kids, Lego cartoons, Lego, Lego movies. Lego, Lego, child, Lego China, China child labor. Yeah. And for wow, a while... Wow, that was hard to say. <laughs> yeah. For a while there at, at, at my, my job at the bookstore, we had Lego office supplies. Really? Yeah. You could buy like a notebook and it was a regular notebook, except the covers were made of like a, like like the Lego ground so yeah. that you could put like Legos or Lego people on the cover of your notebook. And all of the different Lego office uh supplies were like that they were like really skinny pens but then they had that that lego base along the lot the side so you could put like a lego star wars guy on your pen and you know he'd be moving around while you're writing yeah. we didn't sell a lot and they went clearance so they disappeared and then there were also there were also a lot well there were a, a lot of fan films that wound up now becoming major movies yeah you know because it was like Lego Star Wars was was a fan film, and there were a lot of other Lego based fan films of different things. I can't remember them all, 
and now we got Lego Batman, the Lego movie, and yep. stuff like that. Yep. Yep. You know? now, now there's the Lego mo- film studio that's making Lego movies. Lego is just massive and they're yeah. huge and they're all over the place. But now But there was like th- but there was like an explosion on um Facebook years ago where where there were all different Lego memes and you still see them come up from time to time of really weird shit that people have built out of Legos. Yeah. You know, like a working yeah. clock and shit like that. You know? Yeah. We, the, we the care, simpler we... the simpler days on Facebook. Way back yeah. oh, I don't know, two years ago when all we had to do was pass around amusing memes about bacon. You know? Yeah. And that we, was it. It was a better time. <laughs> we carry a British magazine at the bookstore called Bricks. And it's it's a Lego magazine from England and it just shows like the the most incredible lego builds of like hardcore lego fans it's really incredible when you said stuff that they have on there when you said british and bricks uh, i w- i was thinking that that's it just cheap socialist rip off of legos oh yeah no yeah. no sorry honey we could not afford to get you legos but we got these they're called squanches <laughs> yeah. They are just as good. I could not get you the Lego Star Wars, but look, I got you a Lego GoBot set. Do you These think, are Lego GoBots. Do you think the Duplo people are sitting back just thinking, motherfucker? Duplo is owned by Lego. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, Duplo, Duplo oh. are just Legos for Eleanor's. And then now there's a there's a series of Lego sets between Duplo and regular Legos called the Lego Junior line. And those are for kids who are past the Duplo but aren't yet ready to like build the frickin' Death Star. And I got Maxwell a Lego Junior set. And it's like this, what is it? A uh, uh, like a fire engine, like a fire truck guy. Yeah, a, a fire car. It's not really a fire truck. It's just one fireman in a car. Yeah, so it's a fire and, car. Yeah. And, and, and grass is on fire. And yeah, grass is on and, fire. And I built That's, it all by myself. I think grass is room. on fire right now for Bunny. And, <laughs> and a tree was right next to it, and then a tree got on fire. Yeah, a tree got on fire. Yeah, so usually when I get him something Lego, he's like, Daddy, I need help. And then Belle is like, Legos? And they build it together, and it takes them a long time. And then they bond, but only for about five seconds, and then they're back to hating each other. But the Lego Junior set, he brought it into his room. And then a half hour later, he's like, look what I built. I built this. And it was a real improvement of, wow, you built that yourself. Yes, here are the steps. And he showed me the instructions, and it's only like, five steps or like seven steps yeah you put this in here put this in here put this in here i just made a car so so yeah lego junior is the thing for maxwell <laughs> but so so lego is huge right now it's this monolithic company so it's kind of surprising that like 13 years after lego's near bankruptcy the lego corporation is having problems now Apparently, they've grown a bit too huge and too complicated. Recently, Lego headquarters announced that they're laying off a whopping 1,400 gerbs. Oh, okay. That's a crazy amount of layoffs. Yeah. That's a massive amount of layoffs. Lego really has to be hurting for them to lay off that many people. Uh, Lego points to two specific things that they say are to blame for lagging Lego sales. Number one, people are people just aren't buying Lego Star Wars sets like they used to. And that yeah. I can understand. Um, I, 
I will buy a classic Lego set, like um, they're in the trash compactor, and maybe like the trash compactor moves. Like I'll buy the shit out of that. But who wants to buy the Ray in Desert Wasteland Lego set? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I totally agree. That's number one. Number two, although the Lego Batman movie was a success, the Lego Batman movie Lego sets were not a success. People didn't apparently weren't buying Lego Batman Lego sets based off the Lego Batman movie. And they really put a lot of time and effort into the Lego Batman sets and they just weren't a success. People didn't buy them. And so that is also a huge part of their financial woes. Um, and well, I, I wonder, I wonder, let's, let's theorize about that a second. Cause I would still imagine that most of Lego sales are for kids. Yes. I'm, I'm sure adults buy them, you know, um, shit ton. Yeah. Real star Wars fans, but and still Will mostly Ferrell. for kids. So I kind of wonder if, um, Batman didn't sell very well because the the Batman series that would be around at the time when when Legos really started popping was the Christian Bale thing and and that's not particularly kid friendly. Yeah, you know. So I'm wondering if maybe that's a reason for the failure of the Batman Lego set. That's a possibility, but I'd hate to break this to you, Lego Corporation. But I don't see the Lego Ninjago movie, which will be coming out soon, to be any different than the problems you had with the Lego Batman movie. I don't see people rushing out to buy the $150 Lego Ninja Headquarters playset. You know? <laughs> mm-hmm. Something tells me you're going to have the same freaking problems with Ninjago. Uh, but it, it, I don't know Nin. I don't know Ninjago, but I do work at a bookstore that sells a crap ton of Legos. And as far as I can tell, I don't know what Ninjago is about, but as far as I can tell, the Lego Ninjago movie is all about how the Ninjago ninjas have to defeat the evil power by purchasing and building the most complicated and expensive Lego sets imaginable. Okay. In fact, that might be a sign, it, you know, that might be, you know, a clear cut sign of uh, the problems that Lego had with the Lego Batman movie, because the Lego Ninjago movie Lego sets are huge and expensive as crap. Could it That's, could it be a, like an original Lego production? Huh? Can it be? Could it possibly this Ninjago? Yeah, are Ninjago they are, are they from, taking it from a reference or is it something they've come no, up with no. themselves? Yeah, no, it's something they came up with themselves. Okay, this is something they one hundred percent own. So I think they're trying to beat their lagging sales by just. Mm, Pushing the most expensive Lego sets imaginable onto this Lego Ninjago m- movie. Yeah. There's also just the fact, the FAKT fact, that the Lego Corporation has just gotten too damn large. Yeah. Now it's this massive monolithic corporation that just keeps growing and growing and growing. How much more can it grow? And the answer is none. M- none more grow. <laughs> just like Spinal Tap and yeah. Blackout. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so, so yeah, so that's that. The Lego company is suffering there. I, I feel bad. I, I, there, I take a bit of happiness from this. I, I never had Legos, so I just don't feel particularly attached to Legos. I, my, I always wanted Legos and my parents said, you're going to lose them. You're going to lose all of them. You can't have Legos. They're expensive and you're going to lose them. And then one Christmas they got me Legos and uh, yeah, I shot my eye out. (laughs) (laughs) See, my, my little brother had Legos and he got this mat. It was like a cloth, big round cloth that had grommets all the way around. 
and kind of a grommets? grommets and a rope that threaded oh. through. So all the Legos okay. go, went on that, and then you just pulled the ropes up and it gathered it up into like a big pouch for all the Legos to go in. <coughs> My boys inherited it. It was huh. awesome. That that sounds cool. Yeah, no, I lost my Legos. I lost my Legos pretty quickly. Probably not but, all you but lost. Oddly, I have stepped on a Lego. Oh, yeah. Who everybody has it? has it. Yeah. Everybody it's has it. It's the worst. What, what you do with yeah, Legos. It's yeah. It's, it's, worse than, it's worse than having kidney failure or having Ted Cruz like the porn you were in. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, but still, I, I, I would I would really like to see one of these tribes, like Hawaiian tribes or, you know, that you think they're so tough walking over a bed of coal. Yeah. Let's see them walk over a bed of Legos. Nice. You know? Yeah. That's very yeah. good. Yeah. Or if there was some way to set Legos on fire. Yeah. Yeah. That would be the best of both worlds, Miley Cyrus style. Mm-hmm. 